All right, boys, welcome back. So we have the new PvP event arena, which is out right now, which can guarantee you three SSRs, which is actually pretty sick, right? So the first one is in the shop, which, by the way, your actual points do carry over from the last season. So I started off like 900. I've done a few runs now, so we have got a, just a bit over now. But yeah, of course, 1.2k... Very easy, very doable. I mean, you do your 10 runs a day. I think you start off with 15. And they sometimes, especially towards the end days, they are going to give like five extra per day. So, once again, you can easily nearly max out a shop at one point you get the two the actual uh, ssrs but uh we do now know the ssr skill page does contain just the standard ssr which is um slightly a little bit disappointed considering what they just gave out and that was the updated version of the actual uh, selector for ssrs you can see i still have it this is what you got when you did 20 summons on the actual uh season 4 banner and uh, you're able to select the newer characters like yami you know licked raya veto fana and uh Kahone know and of course the older characters too but um I, it's still not that bad right i know there are gonna be some people out there because i am one of those who are still missing some of these characters i mean i've got everyone but sally and sally's quite important to get to do like big nukes with raya i'm sure you've seen like the big the big nuke strategies and uh, it's only possible with her so finally i can get her and don't have to waste my actual like you know updated skill page selector on her i can then use on someone like fano kohono so that is a uh, very nice too but yeah i mean you might as well to be honest if you love it or don't know make sure if you, you're missing someone here and you kind of want them definitely select them with this one don't go for dupes unless you're missing someone like Fagolion or leo you don't really care for them ones uh if you want to do someone out go for william by far gonna be the best here just in terms of like nuking because he has a pretty good combo since you got like, the fastest speed in the game he's always gonna start fast you can always use combo attack with any other character you want to and like the go to one right now obviously you're not gonna see in the new event arena because he actually is banned is like, obviously the mask combo to get the aoe stun but what i've been using a little bit on the actual ladder that, rather than the event one is uh starting off with obviously william and getting a guarantee stun because you can stun with Aster guaranteed but you can only do that when you do take william to four star at least four star because that's when he gets the extra speed and then when he does get the five star he does get the highest speed in the game plus obviously the enhanced speed you can do towards him he literally will always start first but yeah william is by far the best person to do uh, but one that i've been saying for a while and it's going to be actually very good right now in the event arena is radis radis when you do get him the two star will obviously give you the the taunt at first in chance and then when you do get towards five star which is uh not something to chase but something you definitely don't mind doing especially when you have to select between the five or seven characters like what you can see right now but yeah getting upwards to 50 percent chance of taunt is very very good especially against five star in the world is that like always counter you and you can just easily taunt us you can then put that shield up i mean i'm sure most of you lot have done the spire honor and you've burst this guy and you've seen how annoying he can be always taunted every single like turn every, every single time you attack him so uh yeah he's gonna be the go-to right now uh especially because well if you've played a little bit i've done a few runs and i'll show some of them now as well but the event arena right now is like heavily a stun meta since you can't actually bring any of the support class you can't bring the vatoses or the funeral so we're not having that speed meta or you also can't bring healers so you're not bringing like mimosa you can see right now everyone's using stuns Asta can stun with his combo attack. Mars can stun with his combo attack. Especially if you combine both of them. You get like a five stun combo basically. Yeah, crazy. Julius can stun with his ultimate. Even right now. Mars stun. Julius stun. Asta stun. Right here again. Stun and then stun. Uh, Lois is kind of like in there a little bit. I don't know why I probably use Lois. I'm not going to lie. Because um, if you've... If you've get up your characters properly so when you have the resolution if you take one bit of block damage you actually get debuff immunity and you can't actually get speed lowered or you know slowing so um yeah i, I don't know why people are using uh the lotuses i mean obviously he has got pretty good speed so he will be able to proc that or use it before asa can do his total defense but uh still he does a few like the old was like four hits and that can always have a chance to block one of them the skill page is actually something that i'm kind of surprised about because it's not just the actual standard ssrs i mean it kind of is but you also have like the random filler ssrs which to be fair you don't mind in this situation you never you never want to pull these but when you can guarantee them it's not too bad because you actually can guarantee where is it the the breath of darkness and this one is something you just don't mind getting i mean to be fair we're going to like the game has kind of progressed to where all the new characters especially towards dps's they want to have their own particular skill page but someone like obviously uh raya or even still noel getting this max dupe or getting a few dupes on it even to where you can have at least more than 10 percent all attack rate stats it's pretty good and um i think you, you get more for free so honestly getting this right now 
And even if it goes up to 12%, it's still probably the best skill page for Noel. The summer one, of course. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, something that I'm obviously going to pick up as well. There's no real skill pages you definitely need here other than one radis if you use him lotus if you use him mars if you use him and of course sally as well because uh you do get that all attack which is uh obviously very very good especially when you're doing the big nukes williams is free during literally one of the worlds you can pick it up and of course you can always just do the monthly guarantee ssr uh skill page selector by trading a bunch of other skill pages so uh yeah uh personally i'm going for this one of course, with this also returns the actual Yuno. Yes, you know you can now get more copies of him, which is obviously quite nice because uh, I think I ranked somewhere here last time. Yeah, Master 2, I believe it was. So I only got one copy of him plus his skill page. No, I think, where did I rank? I don't know. I got two copies of him, right? So I wasn't able to unlock his actual uh, Awakened Passive LR plus 2. So uh, now I can hopefully get him if I rank high enough. Uh, once again, you don't really care about getting his Yuno, know, to be fair, because he's not great even when you deep him out. And his skill page is not great even when you deep it out. But it's it's a free character to chase for and to deep out for free. You don't mind it. So yeah, like I said, this is the team I'm using, of course, Julius Noel and obviously Radis to get the stun immunity. And if we don't start first, we have got 5-star, obviously Asta. So we have got the status immunity as well. So what we're hoping to never get stunned, basically, right? I will say, probably never go against Noel's. She has really fast speed, so you're probably always going to start like second against her. And uh, her ultimate can be quite a killer. So personally, I'm going to avoid the actual, um, you know, the, the actual Noel's. To be fair, I will say, using like the mono red team with Charlotte and Noel is actually pretty good. Charlotte can give you marks and she's got pretty good speed, so you always typically start first of her. Uh, but yeah, right now, what we do is just this, of course. Boom, re... Oh, I, I forgot it's Mars. But it's fine. We have the debuff. From we have the stun immunity from Asta. So my Radis didn't get stunned. Even if you hit Noel, if it didn't kill her, it's still not going to stun her. So it's, um, yeah, like, see what I mean? It's, it's, it's a heavy stun meta right now. Uh, what we are going to do right now is, uh, this ain't going to kill. So I'm just going to put my shield on right now. Yeah, I need to work on my talents because uh, I don't have any speed carved stones on anyone, I think, apart from Julius. So, uh, yeah, we, we need to work on that a little bit. But you can see right now, boom, he's got the AOE stun, but because of the Radis... Oh, we didn't even use the Radis ultimate. That was just the actual... Uh, oh, we did get stunned. Yeah, I need to work on my... I don't have the speed set gear on my Radis. I think that's kind of why I messed up. I have the double attack. I need to change that. But you can see them stun on my well. Actually might make them win the game because I can no longer use my ultimate now. And I'm not getting the stuns off either. So I'll just do a single target for now. Wait out. But yeah, the fact that I'm stunned is uh, yeah, so frustrating. Because uh, we could have gotten uh, two counters there. We got one now, but uh, that could have broke down the shield quicker. That would have stunned, by the way. That was a combo attack of Astor. That literally would have stunned me. But see what I mean? Like, the stun there is crazy right now. Okay, now we can kill Drew. Get the extra turn. Kind of have to wait out a little bit. But yeah, once again, see what I mean by saying that actual, uh, the Radis is clutch? Because uh, that shield was super helpful as well. Okay, so we'll probably wrap up the video with this last team here. Five-star, obviously, Astor and five-star Drew. I did not mean to do that. Sick. I meant to do my AoE. But we did outspeed the Radis, so we now have the debuff immunity, so... Julius ain't gonna do anything. I mean, sudden Aston wasn't gonna be a big, big deal anyway. Yeah, my ass is so slow. Uh, we blocked all that damage, so we didn't get slown. Which is what I mean by the actual uh, Lotus not being great. I, I don't want people to use him. Maybe not everyone's clocked on about the resolution, actual, uh, you know, talent. But I, I don't see it being... Lotus has been good right now. Because the ultimate is like a four hit, all right? It's not just like one hit, like how Noel's is. It attacks like five, four times. And if you just block one of them, you uh, you basically won, right? Okay, so I'm pretty sure we can probably kill here. Uh, we can probably get the acid down a little bit. Uh, we still have a stun. Um, okay, let me just attack here. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, he's 90 magic. Okay, maybe she's ultimate. Nah, he's not going to kill me. Yeah, single target. Didn't even break. Didn't even. Did he even break the shield? But yeah, boys, that is going to wrap up to the video. Let me know what team you lot are using for this event. I feel like once again it'd just be always Julius Blackaster. That's always the go-to here. You might mix in one of the worlds, either that be the the red one or the blue one, and then it's even Mars. From what I've seen, Mars lowers a Radis. They're the only three that I, I see people are using. And I by far think right now Radis is probably the best one to use. Mars can be okay a little bit. But, once again, you don't need a debuff immunity if you have the debuff immunity from Asta, with his, obviously, total defense and the resolution talent page. And a radish is stopping all stuns. It's sick. So, boy, thank you for watching, and, uh, yeah, peace.